is an Echo Dot with a clock slapped on it worth 60 bucks? That's the big question I'm trying to answer today as we review the new Echo Dot with clock. So let's go ahead and take this out right here and see what we see. Now, the new Echo Dot is available now, and one thing that I don't really like about it is the price tag. It's 60 bucks, it's 10 bucks more than the standard Echo Dot. And last year's, can't get this thing off. Last year's uh, Gen 3 Echo Dot basically looked very similar to this. It was a really similar design. Uh, you know, it added this fabric here. Um, and this basically feels the same way. It has the same kind of heft, it has the same buttons, the same basic design. All right, so we've got the charger here, the charging cord, um, and you'll notice, I mean, back here it's a pretty simple setup. You have this uh, port for the charging cord itself, and then you also have a spot for an audio cable. Uh, so that you can connect it to other speakers. Um, again, really very, very little has changed between last year's Echo Dot Gen 3 and this one right here. So yeah, just taking this out of the box and taking a quick look at it, I'm, I'm seeing that it's basically the same as last year's Gen 3 Echo Dot, and I don't really see a whole lot of difference other than the LED clock that'll light up here. But let's go ahead and get it plugged in and see what's there. For the uninitiated, Echo devices like this one are basically just different shells for Amazon's digital assistant. Now that voice assistant can do all sorts of things like helping you keep atop news or control smart home devices or just answer silly questions. And that list of things it can do is growing every single day. So yes, this device is very similar to the Echo Dot that came out last year, but Alexa is one year older and one year more mature. I think the Echo Dot with clock has the most obvious value in the bedroom as an alarm clock. Turns out that works pretty well. The LED brightness responds to light conditions, the glow at low settings probably won't keep you awake at night, and you can even hit the top to snooze an alarm. I really like the idea of putting a clock on an Echo Dot. It's one of those quality of life changes that really does just make this device more practical in different contexts, like a kitchen counter or a bedside table. You can see the time, you can see the timers that you set, you can even check the temperature outside. I like those changes. What I don't like as much is I don't like that you can only adjust the brightness. You can't adjust the color temperature or the color of the LED display itself. The other big way I use my Echo Dot, music. So I've got the 2018 Echo Dot third generation right here, and I've got the Dot with clock right here, and I wanted to do a side-by-side -side sound test to see how they compare. Now, what we're going to do is play the same song on them, back and forth, so that you can hear the differences. A Change is Gonna Come by Ben Salee, starting now on Amazon Music. If these two devices sound similar, it's because they are. They share the exact same hardware. And that's a little bit of a missed opportunity, I think, for Amazon to use this year-old hardware for a brand new device. That said, even after a year, the sound quality for a device of this size is still pretty solid. One thing I really don't like about this is that $60 price tag. Now I get that the clock is a hardware upgrade, but if last year's design upgrades didn't call for a $10 upcharge, then this one shouldn't either. Now I like the clock. I like what it adds to it so much so that I think that it should come standard on Echo devices like this one in the future. That said, hiking the price on a product like this one that's routinely given away for promotions or sold at crazy low prices for sales seems like it's chipping away at the wallet friendliness that made the Echo Dot so special in the first place. 
Unlike other Echo products, the dot with clock only comes in one color, sandstone. I really wish there were some other options, especially because the lights could look super cool against a darker colored fabric. If it sounds like I've been a little bit hard on this device, it's because I think that Amazon could have done more with it. That said, I do think it's such a promising device here, and it really is a good idea to put a clock on an Echo like this. And if you find it on sale in the future, it's a really good pickup. But that's just my opinion. I'd love to see yours down below in the comments. And while you're down there, feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and I'd also like to take this moment to just recognize the fact that Kanye West still has not released his album, and I'm kind of sick of waiting for it. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Something like that. All right, that's fine.